All right, so <clears throat> for this one, for this part, we're gonna look at this uh, highlight, the stem and the shadow, and then we'll be done. So <clears throat> I found these. I um, think there should be a little bit of pink. I know I really don't like pink, but um, this one's called a hot mango. Hot magenta, not hot mango. Hot magenta. I don't think that looks anywhere close to what we're looking for. This one's called flamingo. It's not horrible. This one's called raspberry, which is a dark. Um, red, I would say. And this one's called hot pink. So, none of these really look. Um, part of this highlight, there's some really hot, um, light parts to it that are not necessarily white. <clears throat> so, if I had to pick, like I said, you might not have these colors in your packet, which is fine. You just have to figure out which one works best for you. And I'm not going to give you a bad grade because you don't have the certain colors that I have or something that matches exactly. I want you to try to find something that looks similar. So to me, um, I believe it was this flamingo that looks the best to this, these little pink spots that are on the highlight. None of them really, but I'm gonna use this flamingo pink um, for mine. And I really don't like it, but. Then I'm gonna go back with a red around the edge just to soften it. No, it's not as. There's probably some yellow, so I'm gonna get my yellow. Yellow, um, a tan, brown, and a black. Let's start with those. Just see where we can um, get to. All right, so first I'm gonna start with yellow. I'm just gonna go up the top or on the side, or on the bottom. And I'm gonna take my tan. Let me put it on top. I might have to wait for this to dry. And then, while that's drying, I'm gonna go to the bottom, around the base of the stem. I'm some green, I shouldn't have done that. All right, then I'm gonna go back with my brown on the stem part. Uh, to leave that yellow on the right on the left side which is um, where the light source is on the left side of the apple and then finally let me go back with some black a little bit on the right Just a little bit, and then you, that looks good to me. Very simple. All right, so that's the stem. Now we have to look at the shadow. 
um, what I'm going to do is start with gray. <clears throat> and I know with markers you can't, especially we only have one gray, it's hard to get that gradation going from the darkest with the dark black under the apple out to the, that goes out to white, so we can't really do that. So what I'm gonna do is just nice and easy, nothing really heavy. And as I get further away from the apple, as I go right, I'm gonna lift my marker up where it's drifting up and it leaves this little bit of a, um, where it's not a total contact, I guess, so it's not as solid. So as I go away, I'm lifting, going from left, pressing down, and then as I go to the right, I'm lifting my marker up off the page. So it's getting this little bit of gradation, like if you want to say, giving us a little bit of that um, difference in color, wearing or gray. And as I move closer to the apple, it gets more solid. So I did my gray. This isn't gonna take too long. And then I'm gonna go back with my black and draw in the darkest part of that shadow. Color it solid. And then if you want to a little bit, do the same thing we do with the gray. As we go to the right, we lifting up. Where we get some gradation a little bit, it gives that illusion of gradation. All right. That should be good. This is a little bit different. All right. Um, like, um, take your time, watch the videos first. You're good to go.